Hello, good afternoon Gossip Girls, how are we today? We are spreading across the internet right now, um, across both of the Gossip Girls groups and to the page as well. So hi everybody, um, if you're watching on replay, uh, give us a hashtag replay, I'm with the lovely bubbly Sharni, um, <laughs> she's going to tell you where she is and what she does um, and I'm really excited because she's on it she is um, a top woman um i'm seeing you pop up in different places as well so i know that you you know you're doing well in your business so it's brilliant so um oh i've got your website up here already aren't we organized <laughs> so this is one of our gossip girls gold interview shani is a gossip girls gold and as part of this um we do a, an interview to find out more about our gossip girls golds so um shani you are a crucial va so tell us all about what you do sure so yes as the name suggests um i am a va and i'm basically here to help my clients um streamline their business and just kind of remove any overwhelm or confusion that they may be experiencing so they can focus on growing the business and ultimately increasing their bottom line. So I also refer to myself as a discombobulation specialist because of what I do, just helping them just get rid of all the nonsense, all the faff and get down to business and focus on what they love doing. I love that. So <laughs> explain to me your um, definition of discombobulation. Sure. So discombobulation basically means confusion, disarray, out of sorts, just an overwhelm kind of thing. So being a discombobulation specialist, um, I'm able to kind of help my clients pinpoint that within their business, find out where it's not necessarily working as well as it could be, um, and just find ways to eliminate it so they can um, get more clarity and efficiency and um, just improve the way they, they operate their business as a whole. Yeah, that's brilliant. So I can identify with this because I'm like a creative mind and I'll go off and flit off and do lots of different things. And I like have my kind of what you'd call zone of genius and mind's like talking and creativity and doing. Um, whereas um, I think your zone of genius is seeing what is necessary and what what needs doing and what needs streamlining what can go and that feels like a blessing because <laughs> the the amount of fluff that you mentioned that we probably do within our business yeah you know what is it actually leading towards you know is it leading towards money or is it leading you just think you should be doing it and do you drill down a little bit on that with people yes yeah so when i kind of start working with my clients the first thing i do is try and find out what they're doing at the moment and how effective it is and what the end goal is and find ways to kind of get to that end goal faster on a higher level um, and just find kind of find ways to just get rid of that faff really um i have quite a few clients who i mean i specialize in the event management field as well as doing your general va stuff so i have clients that work in that arena whether it's networking events um putting on webinars masterminds and that kind of stuff and obviously with that comes a lot of creativity and outside of the creativity side of it um there's all the other niggly bits that go in go into putting those events on. Um, yeah. So I often find that it's easy for my clients to kind of go, as you say, go off on tangents and the creative mind is just constantly going. And although that's great for the event or whatever you're putting on, some of that can kind of get in the way of the processes to make yeah. it. Yeah, like there's so many cogs that need turning yeah. to, to get that event in place. And a lot of the things, they take maybe five, 10 minutes to do, mm -hmm. but all of those add up. And then if, and then it, for a mind like mine, then it's draining. Yeah. So it's really good to have somebody like you that can just do all the cog turning yeah. and you could just turn up. Yeah. 
<laughs> exactly. How much how much more relaxing would that be to just know that all you have to do is show up for the event and you don't have to worry about have the invitations gone out? Are there any questions yeah. I need to answer? Um, you know, the follow-ups that come after the events as well, you know, making sure everyone had a good time. Were there any issues? And depending on what type of event you're putting on, you might want to try and get those people that attended the event into your diary to mm -hmm. sign up for some kind of program that you run alongside it. And all those bits, you know, when you're doing all those bits, you can be left kind of flustered when you, yeah. for you all you need to do is show up and put on your best, your best outfit. And Amazing. Be you, basically. So I'm there to make it easier. Um. Donna has just said, um, I could do with a VA in my life, <laughs> never mind my business. <laughs> in my life, never mind my business. So yeah. do you do anything with that, with life VA work? Yes, I do as well. Yeah. So I have what, what I call a concierge service. So it kind of works hand in hand. So you might have um, a business task that needs handling, but then also, you know, little Jimmy might need to, um, his birthday might be coming up and you haven't bought a present yet because you've been bogged down in the business and you haven't got around to it, those kind of things. So you can say, Shani, can you look for presents? Can you research? Can you yeah. purchase this for me? Can you arrange the party for me? Um, doctor's appointments, all of that stuff. All of that Gosh. stuff. Like, is this, we get busy in both, both areas. So, yeah. Yeah, that's really good because, like, realistically you can only juggle kind of two balls at once. So yeah. I can either juggle my uh, business and maybe my health, and yeah. then my my child just is <laughs> wild. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you can't, you just, like, women, I think we've been sold a bit too much on you can have everything, but mm. do you really want to do everything? <laughs> That is the question. Can you do everything? I mean, we are known as multitaskers and we're very good at it. But, the you know, you run the risk of burnout because you're trying to do so many things all at once. And then are you taking time to look after yourself and get that, uh -huh. that me time that you need? Um, and we often overlook that. I mean, I've been I've been victim to that as well. You know, guilty of that, I should say. So um, it's about finding that balance and being ready and able to accept the help and support because at the end of the day if you've got that support you've got more energy and you can you can show up you know definitely like yeah. I went away um last week and it, it's done me a world of good just yeah. to have a different scene um, yeah, I did beautiful. do some work while I was there but only work that I was booked into uh, right. that I had to do but I put my phone away other times and yeah. it just gave my brain a really good rest yeah um and i think you know ha it's it's such a blessing when you can get to that stage in your business to get a va mm -hmm. but also as well you know having a va like you who knows all those systems mm -hmm. is so handy you kind of um you know, a lot, I know a lot of VAs do um, social media work and things like that. I know you don't necessarily do that. You mm -hmm. are more the, the back office and getting everything set up or the scheduling. And Yeah, yeah, definitely. Social I don't know whether Shani has crashed or whether I have crashed. Let me oh, know. Okay. Hiya. Now. What happened there? Are we back? <laughs> yes. Looks like it. Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what? Good sentence. What happened? You were just talking about social media. Oh, yes. Right. So I was saying, so it's not a service that I offer, but I uh, basically do everything else. So as you mentioned, all the back office stuff, um, 
whether it's your general back office stuff or if, if it's kind of tailored to the event management side of things, um, just making sure that you're a duck on the surface of the water, looking pretty and swimming along and underneath I'm doing all that stuff. So you don't need to do that stuff. <laughs> oh, Donna says, Shani, can you come and live with me, please? <laughs> Do you get those kind of proposals a lot? Yes, especially because obviously, as you know, Emma, I'm based in Barbados now. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so I definitely normally it's can I come and live with you? Yeah, yeah, that's it. Oh, brilliant. So I know that you've got something um free to give away today, haven't you? Do you want to share, tell some of us about that? Yes, sure. So I've put together an ebook, and it's basically called The Seven Mistakes of Delegation and How to Avoid Them. Because um, what happens is I, I come across a lot of people who, when they get to that point where they know that they could do with the help, the next kind of uh, speed bump is where would I start? I wouldn't even know where to even begin. Um, so you know, and it's understandable because, you know, it's your business, you know what you do in your business, but you're obviously overwhelmed. And it's like, where would I even begin to hand things off? Are they going to know what to do? Are they yeah. going to do it correctly? Um, are they going to understand, you know, how I want things done? So the ebook I put together kind of addresses the seven key mistakes that people make with delegation so that you can actually apply them and kind of hit the ground running. There's no, you know, um, women in R in, there's no confusion about the expectations uh, from you and what they expect from you. It's, it's kind of coming from both perspectives as well so that you and your VA can get off to a good start and a healthy relationship as to- I think what this is a really good thing to have because I know some people, who have had gone through a few different VAs mm. to kind of find the right one. Yeah. And maybe if they had known the mistake, they would have avoided them and found the right one sooner. Yeah. Um, and I know some people that want to have a VA but are a little bit scared because they don't know what kind of training is going to have to go on and, yeah. and things like that. So does that address those kind of things? It does, yeah. It, it helps you to firstly um, know where to start in terms of your VA scouting process. Um, yeah. There's some red flags to look out for um, that will help you avoid, you know, potentially working with someone who's going to be a waste of time because it does happen. Um, just simply because... One of the reasons being that, you know, the two of you might not be on the same page. Um, and also, just like when you're applying for a job and they want to know about your experience and how you work and who you've worked with, it's kind of important. I wouldn't, I'm not saying that you need to get a CV from a, from a VA, but there's, you, you want to know that they've got testimonials and things like that. If they're not prepared to give those to you, then run for the hills because that's a red flag that, you know, it might not yeah. go to anything. Um and yeah, so it's it's got that kind of information in there and a lot more to kind of put you on the right on the right track. Okay. So yeah. for your skill set and what you do, mm -hmm. as your personality and your experience, what do you think makes you um, a good VA? What what kind of things have your clients said that have been like, you know, I really need you? <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, different clients will tell you different things. Um, I've had clients that have said, I mean, clients that have worked with me just based on the vibe that we have on, you know, first meeting, um, they sound quite down to earth and um, understand where, what kind of business they're running and what, what their ethos is. So that's a, obviously a good start. That is a big thing of the understanding of the business because yeah. there might be some admin work where you could tap away, do the admin work, but then if you don't have the mindset of what is this going to be leading to, yeah. then it's just like just hitting that wall all the time. Yeah. And there's no extra thinking. Like, yeah. actually, we could do with adding this to the process exactly. to make this flow a bit better. Definitely. You, yeah, if, if you're not, you need to be on the same page, basically. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I think it's very important to understand what you're trying to achieve because my goal is to 
become a part of your business so that eventually you feel like you have got an extra pair of hands that that when you're not doing something it's still being done to the standard that you're looking for the same method in which you would do it if not you know in a maybe a revised method that you're happy with um but i want to make sure that i'm becoming a part of your business so you feel like you've got a team and you're not just doing yeah. It yeah that's so good to be part of the team um yeah. and <clears throat> you know when you talk to people like why they started their business mm. they they didn't generally they didn't start it to be working hundreds of hours a week kind of thing yeah um and when your business gets bigger you know the amount of stuff that you need to do gets bigger yeah um because there's you know no matter how much you automate things you still have little like emails like messages thing things happening mm. and you know there's automation is good but it's it's not steadfast that you don't have to do anything correct correct so yeah. having somebody managing all of that it, it just takes a brain ache away doesn't it yeah definitely you can't um as as beautiful as technology is you still can't replace a, a whole human being something has yeah. to done manually and um if that if that task that needs to be done manually is quite time consuming for you as a business hi jackie hi <laughs> <laughs> um if, if that task that you need to do manually is quite time consuming then obviously another human being taking that off your hands leaves you with a lot more room to do what you do best i think um we all kind of start businesses with um whatever field it is and we love doing it but what we don't necessarily sign on for is the other stuff that come that has to be done as a result and that stuff can slow us down yeah. um, so so having a VA can just take that away strip that away and leave you to focus on what you started the business for in the first place brilliant yeah. do you think every business needs a VA or can you think of businesses that wouldn't need a VA um I'd probably say the only business that probably wouldn't need a VA are going to be the ones that are, and even then, not necessarily, but, you know, big conglomerates um, yeah. that would have like a whole team because the, the, the size of their operation is so big. Um, but when you're at that stage, when you're growing, um, yeah. if you have visions of growing or you're actually in the process of growing, a VA can really help just yeah, catapult you right. to that to that next level so um so anyway. um just like around coming to the end but just give us some examples of what kind of things you do day to day to make it easier for clients yeah sure so i do um email responses um which is a, a big time time saver um i do your general client support so whether it's um accessing my clients accounts like for example linkedin and and things like that and just kind of handling the client queries so that they don't have to do it themselves oh brilliant um, yeah i'm qualified in proofreading and editing as well so if you're a client that you know um, created an ebook um or publishing a book or articles blogs that you write etc yeah, yeah. um i can proofread them and make sure that they're, they're of a certain standard to go out because I think it's important um, for businesses to recognize that if your articles aren't reading correctly, whether it's grammatically or spelling errors, it has a negative impact on your yeah. how your business is uh, perceived. So I do that as well. People um, always pick it up, you know, there's all yes. like, and you know, how, how massive, you know, whether you give people the benefit of the doubt, it's still in your mind that they've made a mistake. Yeah. yeah. So, Becky says, interesting. And yeah. Becky um, does, um, teaches people to self-publish books and things. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So she might, you know, uh, have some, some people that you could pass over and things like that. Oh, and cool. um, she said, it's always good to know a proofreader and editor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So what else do you do? So I see that you set up um networking meetings. Is it Wow Network that you is one of them that you work with? Yes, yeah. So Nadine, she's a lovely lady. She's one of my clients. Um, so I help her with the um 
invitations, the um, the thank you emails, basically like the guest list that go out afterwards. Yeah. Um, from time to time, I help her with hosting and coordinating the events as well. And all the kind of stuff that goes on in the background from an email marketing perspective as well. I help her with that, that kind of stuff. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, because it, like, obviously I run networking meetings. Yeah. And especially when you're doing breakout rooms, it can <laughs> be very, like, working out who goes where and things. It can yeah. make you have a boggle. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's, um, it's to to kind of be as a as the host to be fully present with your guests and be coordinating the rooms in the background one of them's got to be slightly sacrificed you just can't do both no it's impossible to completely be there and do that successfully so i take mm. that away from from my clients so they can literally just be there and then whether it's kind of them saying to me okay shani let's let's go we're ready and then they just go off and come back and etc cetera, etc cetera. Or if I'm hosting it for them, like co-hosting it with them, kind of thing. So yeah, there's different yeah, kind of and that's also good for people who you do uh, like webinars and masterclasses mm. and things like that. Those people really want to be present rather yeah. than keep adding people in and you know yeah. monitoring the chat and things. Yeah, especially when you're doing like webinars and masterminds, if you're getting questions, if you've enabled the um, chat box and you're yeah. getting questions come through. You, you don't have the time to be filtering through those questions and hosting for everyone else. So I can like get the questions or highlight the questions, answer them if oh. I'm given that information as well. So you can literally just focus on the hosting side of it. That's so good. So yeah. how can people um, move forward with you and like um, have, a, have a chat about your services? Sure. So we can definitely book a a one-to-one, -one, which I call a discovery call, um, to find out more about you and your business, what kind of areas you need help with, etc. And we, in that call, we would basically establish if we're a good fit and if we want to work together. And then from there, it kind of starts the onboarding process. So the link to my discovery call can be found on my website. I don't have it with me right now, but it can be found if you go to crucial-va.co.uk. Book some time in with me. It's 30 minutes. It's free. And it's all about you. And we find yeah. out if we can That's move on. That's brilliant. Yeah. Uh, you're so professional. And you know, I just love how you got your processes streamlined. And I can just see how you you give that to your clients as well. So mm -hmm. you're on top of things. So definitely a good lady to go for for your VA, Shani. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so it's been fantastic having you as a Gossip Girls Gold interview. Yes, um, for me. anybody watching, um, could you tell us what you like about being a Gossip Girls Gold? Sure. So gosh, I've been a member since, I think it's November of last year. Um, yeah. And I love what I absolutely love, I mean, the reason why I even came across Gossip Girls Gold in the first place is because I was looking for networking events and found the Facebook group and loved that it was not just networking, but it was also a community of ladies to kind of bounce off of each other, yeah. support one another. Um, and what you provide to your to your members as well is is gold. It's gold. It's um, It really yeah. helps people to to get over the the speed bumps that they might be experiencing with regards to technology and social media and things like that so um yeah I, it's, it, and it's affordable it's five pounds a month and you get all the networking sessions and the facebook community all yeah. in there. Go wrong but it's actually that. gone up to 10 pound a month now but you are oh, the original price be... <laughs> so, but it's still 10 pound a month isn't it <laughs> <laughs> oh brilliant oh i'm so glad and you know you went to one of the networking meetings last night and like everybody everybody from all accounts had a good time so yeah it's, it's a lovely good. environment isn't it yeah lovely to see everyone and some new faces as well which is good yeah yeah there always is it's funny isn't it um donna said uh, i've changed my mind i'll come to you <laughs> donna wants to live with you <laughs> <laughs> brilliant so this has been Shani Roberts and make sure that you connect with her in the group um so it's Shani I'll put on your um your name again so people can have a look so it's Shani Roberts and there should be a link the um the link to the um ebook as well 
yeah i've put that up before so it's subs um, subscribe page dot yeah. com slash seven mistakes of delegation yeah so what we'll do i will put that link i'll change the uh, the top so we'll put that on there so it's clickable um okay. because that can definitely help people so much so yeah. Yeah. yeah and then obviously having a chat to you as well yes exactly. excellent i shall see you soon and thanks for watching everybody bye bye, -bye.